Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we shall learn how to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation for probability distribution of a discrete random variable as well as continuous random variable. The mean for probability distribution is also called expectation. And it is denoted by this symbol, which is called mu, or it is denoted by E of X. If we are given a discrete random variable X having values X1, X2 up to Xn with their corresponding probabilities P of X1, P of X2 up to P of Xn, then the mean is denoted by this formula. So we can see mu is equal to summation xi p of xi, where i is from 1 to n. The variance for a discrete random variable x is denoted by var of x or sigma square, and it is defined by this formula. And we know that the standard deviation is a positive square root of the variance. And now let us use these formulas to solve an example. In this example, we are given a discrete random variable x having values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and their corresponding probabilities. And we need to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation for this probability distribution. Let us see the solution. In the first column of this table, we put all the given values of the random variable. And in column number two, we put their corresponding probabilities, which are given in the question. Now let us see formula once again for the mean, which is equal to summation xi p of xi. So we need to multiply each value of the random variable with its probability, and then we need to sum them. So in the third column, we multiply each value of x with its probability. 0 multiply with 0 0.05 is 0. 1 multiply with 0 0.15 is 0 0.15. 2 multiply with 0 0.1 is 0 0.2. 3 multiply with 0 0.2 is 0 0.6. And 4 multiplied with 0 0.5 is 2. Now let us sum all these values. So summation xi p of xi is equal to 2.95. Hence, the expected value or the mean is given by 2.95. The next task is to find the variance. So let us see formula for the variance. In this formula, we can see that we need to find xi minus mu whole square and then multiply this with probability of xi. And finally, we will sum all of the values. So in this column now, we subtract the value of mu from each value of the random variable. 0 minus mu, mu is 2.95, is equal to minus 2.95. Then 1 minus mu, 2 minus mu, 3 minus mu, 4 minus mu. And in this way, we can find all the values. In the next column, we have to square all these values to find xi minus mu whole square. Square of minus 2.95 is 8.7025. Square of minus 1.95 is 3.8025. Similarly, squaring minus 0.95, we get this number. Squaring 0 0.05, we get this number. Squaring 1.05, we get this number. And now in the last column, we have to multiply the value of probability 
with xi minus mu whole square. So these are the values of probability. So we multiply 0 0.05 with 8.7025 and get this number 0 0.4351. Then we multiply 0 0.15 with this value to get this one. Then we multiply 0 0.1 with this value and get this one then 0.2 with this number to get this one, and then 0.5 with 1.1025 to get 0.5513. At last, we have to sum, add, or add all these values. So summation P of xi into xi minus mu whole square is equal to 1.6473. That is why sigma square, the variance is given by 1.6476. And we know that just taking the positive square root of the variance, we get the standard deviation, which is 1.3. If the density function f of x of a continuous random variable x is given, then mean is defined by this formula, which is integration from minus infinity to infinity x into f of x dx. Here, f of x is the density function, which must be given in the question. And the variance is defined by this formula, which is again integration from minus infinity to infinity, density function into x minus mu whole square dx. An alternate formula to find the variance is given by this one, which is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. This formula is valid for a discrete case as well as for a continuous random variable. And the standard deviation is just the positive square root of the variance. Now, let us solve an example. In this example, we are given a function, which is the density function. And this density function shows the age of babies brought to a clinic or hospital in X years. X shows number of years. The value of this function is this one only when X is between zero and two. Otherwise, the value is zero. Let us find the mean age of babies brought to the clinic in this duration. And also let us find variance and standard deviation. Formula for the mean is given here. Just we need to put the value of the density function, which is given here. So we get this thing. Let us take three by four outside of the integration and multiply x with two x and with minus x square, then we get this thing. And now we can integrate this integration of 2x square is 2x cubed by 3. And integration of x cubed is x4 by 4. Limits are from 0 to 2. Let us substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit. And when we simplify, we get that the mean age of babies is equal to 1. To find the variance, this is the basic formula. That integration is from minus infinity to infinity. Density function into x minus mu whole square dx. Let us substitute the value of the density function as well as the value of mu, which we have just obtained. Mu is equal to one. We get this expression. Limits are from zero to two. Now we can take three by four outside of this integration and expanding this square, x minus one whole square, we get this thing. In the next step, we can multiply these two expressions and we obtain and after simplification, we get this one. Now we can integrate, integration of minus x four is minus x five by five. Integration of 4x cubed is 4x4 
divided by 4. 4 will be cancelled with 4. Integration of minus 5x squared. That is minus 5x cubed divided by 3. Integration of 2x is 2x squared divided by 2. 2 will cancel with 2. Let us substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit. And we get this thing. When we simplify this, we get that variance is 1 over 5. And we know that standard deviation is just the positive square root of variance, which is 0 0.45. Let us see how to solve this problem by using the alternate formula. Sigma square is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. Here, expectation of x is 1, which, which is mu. We have already obtained that value in the first part. So we only need to find e of x square. And e of x square is equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity, x square f of x dx. Here, f of x is the density function. Just put its value. And now taking 3 by 4 outside of the integration and multiply x square. We get this thing. And now let us integrate this. In the next step, we have to substitute the limits. So we get this value. After simplification, we get that expectation of x square is 6 by 4. So now we have expectation of x square as well as expectation of x. Substituting these two values in this formula, and after simplification, we get that variance is 1 over 5, which is the same as we have obtained already. Just take the positive square root, and we get the value of the standard deviation, which is 0.45. That's all.